Hi, welcome to Have Guitar. Hope you're doing great, as always. Uh, today it's time for another Camper Rig Showcase and I'm going to have a look at uh, Reamp Zone's Orange TH30 Modded Rig Pack. Uh, quite a rocker this one, I would say. Uh, I haven't, uh, I've had it in my collection for quite a while. I haven't really tried it out, but I did so today and uh, now there's no turning back. This is a unique pack from Reamp Zone because it's a modded uh, version of the Orange TH30. Uh, it has been uh, modified to reduce uh, fizz and to push the tubes uh, to get some more power I guess. Uh, the profiles definitely show this I would say. And as I said this is a real rocker. Uh, these profiles really ooze with energy and uh, punch. I really like them uh, so much I've actually decided to use them for a recording project that we are doing with a couple of songs that I've written. Uh, I'm gonna record that with a couple of friends on drums and bass uh, and I'll be using this uh, orange pack for sure because this is as close as you can get to rock and roll in a digital format I would say. Some boosts have been used uh, when profiling this amplifier uh, I guess they are not used all the time. What I mean is that not all profiles have a boost activated or included in the profile. But the boosts are a Keeley TS-808, a Boss HM3 which has only been used for the direct profiles and uh, a Wild Overdrive which can sound really great uh, as I've proven before in another video that you can see on my channel if you wanna. So in this pack from Reamp Zone you will get 23 direct profiles. 35 merge profiles and 30 studio profiles and that is for the price of $15 uh, Considering that the real deal costs around uh, 1,000 euro uh, $15 seem like a very very low sum I would say <laughs> Now that's a sound that I really like in that profile. Uh, it has lots of energy. I don't think you can have too much of that. Well, oh, okay, maybe you can. Uh, but it also has great sustain, fantastic sound, uh, string separation, uh, transparency, whatever you, whatever you need really. Um, I really, I just feel I gotta try this together with the backing track. I'm gonna add just a little touch of delay to it. And then we'll try it with the backing track and see, uh, see how it sounds, alright? <laughs> seven on the SG sounds like this with this profile which isn't that high gain from the beginning but anyway we're not looking for lowering the gain right it's the sweet spot we are after so I don't think I want to go any lower but we can <laughs> we can try it out and see how it sounds this is just about Free on the volume knob. Very clean, very quiet when you move the volume down to free. I think I preferred like it was from the beginning, full volume. <laughs> control the volume with how hard you pick as well. Not really the, the exact same thing but uh, there's quite a lot of control to gain from just how you pick. I use a V-pick today by the way. Again 
or again, that's a reference to the video where, where I reviewed the gravity picks. But again, this is this is picks that are a lot thicker than I'm used to. So uh, if I play anything wrong, I will just blame the pick. Okay. <laughs> the profile with the number 08 but uh, a lot more bite in this one a little bit more aggressive I really like the tone of this one I think you could play really it's uh, maybe not metal but close to it at least and uh, you could definitely play hard rock and I think it would cut through the mix really well just listen to that sound <laughs> sounds sweet so let's see how this uh, profile fares with the uh, Stratocaster. Tames the beast, you could say. But you still have some bite in that sound. Still a really nice tone, good sound, even though uh, a little bit less wild or a little less energy, perhaps. So that's around seven on the volume button. Sounds really good to me. So let's try the middle uh, middle position. So that's the middle uh, single coil. Each step to the left on the switch brings down the energy level or the gain a little bit and increases the hum. So now it's the neck pickup. And with that not so nice ending, we'll go to the next profile. <laughs>
that's close to no volume at all on the on the Harley Benton Telecaster. Still get quite some gain, but I think that's kind of built in within the Texas Specials uh, that I um, uh, added to this guitar or upgraded it with. So that's what it sounds like with the Fender Texas Specials in the Holly Benton. Let's see how this profile sounds with the uh, uh, Gibson SG instead. <laughs> That's a solid tone, solid quality, solid sound, solid, solid. Uh, <laughs> I just think it sounds really great. So there are way too many profiles to showcase them all, well I could do, but it would be like one and a half hour long video. Uh, no idea if you really want to see that, maybe you want to do that, <laughs> then you can write a comment uh, below and tell me please do one and a half hour videos for us. I don't really think you want that, but anyway, what I was uh, about to say was really, here comes the side by side comparison. It's all gain rating 8 profiles. I'll do five of them and you can just hear for yourself how much difference there are between the different profiles. Let's go! <laughs> To this rig pack from uh, Reamp Zone or profile pack from Reamp Zone, uh, the TH30 modded orange amplifier 
that sounds really great. Uh, now you might be thinking why do you say that all the packages or all the profile pack sounds great? Well, because mainly that I choose to, to review or showcase the packs that I really like because my time is limited as is yours so do something good with it uh, <laughs> you know no no but uh, I don't know I just don't think I would uh, spend my time sitting here playing around with something that I didn't like uh, or that I didn't feel feel that there was any point of doing a video trying to bring that out to anyone whoever want to watch it yeah so if ever that thought crossed your mind that's how it is my time is limited and I try to only bring in stuff that I really like uh, with some exceptions like for the Holly Benton Telecaster which where I didn't really know where that would end up but it ended up really well and now it's a guitar that I play a lot uh, so you know but when it comes to profile if I hear something that I don't like first of all I don't get that pack second of all if I would get the pack and still be disappointed I most likely wouldn't do a video about it here and if I did I would tell you that I thought it sucked okay so that's how it is so this pack from Realm Zone does not suck uh, it's the total opposite it's really good uh, as I've said I've had it lying around for a long while now haven't played that much with it but it's oh it, it's a really rocking pack a hot rocking pack I would say I really like it uh, if you're gonna use it for solos, for me, I, I really like have some delay added to, to uh, whatever sound I'm using, whatever amplifier I'm playing through, because otherwise it feels kind of dead. Uh, if you add some delay or reverb, you'll get a little bit more roomy, spacey feeling. Immediately, at least for me, that will encourage me to play better. Uh, so I really like to add some delay, as you might have heard here in this video as well. You should have if you have any years left. One thing that I'm really impressed by is how these profiles sound really, really like a tube amplifier that has been pressed, pressed volume-wise to that point where it starts to deliver the most uh, sound-wise. Normally that, that, that's, uh, that's at a volume that you don't want to put your ears through. That's one of the qualities. You also have the transparency, the string separation in the sound. That sweet gain that doesn't... Uh, it doesn't really uh, drown what you're playing, it enhances it instead. Sounds just perfect to me. And uh, as you possibly heard uh, uh, in the higher gain profiles, you're very close to metal, uh, metal land. Uh, you, if not already there, I, I don't know, it depends on what kind of sound you want. I'm 100% positive you could, you could tweak one of these profiles into a perfect metal sound if you wanted that. Uh, so I would say it's a really flexible and variable pack in that aspect as well. I really like it, as you can hear. I can't stop talking about it. So if you don't have this in your collection, the Orange TH30 modded from Reamson, I think you should get it uh, because this is uh, this is outstanding. It's a shame not to have it in your collection of Kemper profiles. And if you don't own a Kemper, you should you should still get it, just in case you got a Kemper sometime. Great. <laughs> so with that said, thanks ever so much for watching my videos. Uh, thanks to all of you who subscribe, leave comments, give your support in any way you can. So much appreciated, I can tell you really. Uh, also, if you do like what you see here, what I'm trying to achieve, trying to do, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. It will give uh, lo loads of support for me. Uh, doesn't cost you more than the energy to, to click the mouse button on the subscribe button. So thanks a lot all of you who are watching. You're the best, of course, and you who subscribe, you are even better. So uh, <laughs> with that said, hope you liked the video. Uh, you can follow Have Guitar on Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter and Tumblr if you want to. Uh, there's also a web page for Have Guitar, all links and loads of information some information at least are below in the description so, so so take a look a peek there and see what you can find with that said stay well be safe and play hard until i see you next time goodbye